Plus Friday, you guys. I'm coming at y'all. Crusty and Dusty with no makeup on just to give you guys a little um, video. Okay, so um, you guys were kind of wondering about the whole like 3D, 4D, 5D, 60, 70 reality thing. A lot of spiritual people talk about um, ascending into these new dimensions and it sounds so interesting and cool. Why not? Um, want to ascend higher especially if we give these dimensions labels such as pure light bliss things like that um, but someone on twitter today really brought up an amazing point that really made me think about things not just this a lot of the spiritual people who i follow and who i take notes from talk about this as well but he really brought it um on a very basic plane to kind of call out the spiritual community in a sense he basically talked about how these ascensions and this idea of ascending um, almost creates kind of a um, rhetoric where this earth is not enough and a lot of spiritualists use these concepts to escape from reality and maybe even feel more superior to other people because they've achieved I'm in living in 3d or I'm living in 6d or whatever it is the truth and i talked a little bit about this on my post um today my post today but the truth is these are not places that we go these are mindsets okay and yes we should strive to achieve them but these different mindsets don't take us magically to this random island where everything is pure bliss it's a mindset of acceptance it's a mindset of gratitude, it's a mindset of bliss. Whatever level you're looking at these dimensions on the consciousness scale, it's all a mindset and you have the ability to do it right now. Through spiritual work, through manifestation, through meditation especially, through learning how to um, observe your thoughts from a neutral point to where you don't think anything in this world is positive or negative, everything is just bliss, it's all a state of mind. Just like if you're just starting to get into spirituality and you are starting to see your life from the perspective of wow i'm so glad this terrible thing terrible thing happened to me because it's it made me grow so much as a person that is really the goal of taking your old perspective of life is happening to you and transforming that to life is happening for you everything is happening for a reason everything that is possibly thrown at us at this obstacle we should be eternally grateful for because ultimately it shaped us into the knowledge and the wisdom and whatever else that you have today and guess what you got through it all and you're able to watch this video and you're able to live your life um, even though it might still affect you you're getting stronger and stronger every day so the point of ascending you guys is not to levitate to a random destination it's to see life from a different perspective and to really appreciate life on a different level that's why gratitude is so important gratitude is one of the biggest one of the best ways we can really ascend right because appreciating every little thing will start this ripple effect to where you're appreciating everything and your life all of a sudden is becoming so much more positive than you thought it was. You're appreciating being able to walk and go to the bathroom to take a to use the bathroom in the morning. You know, you're appreciating even if you don't have that much money. You're appreciating um, your family. You're appreciating the fact the little that you do have. Today I talked on Twitter or I said something on Twitter about being broke is just a. It's a mindset and it's not a measure of material things because even a person who's living on an island in a shack who has nothing, if they have a mindset of, oh my God, I'm living right here and I have the sun to warm me, I have the, the earth to nourish me, that, even though someone from our society might see that as broke because they're not making money, their mindset is abundance. Their mindset is gratitude. And their mindset is gratefulness for anything that they have. And this 
is the key. So I just want to tell you guys that any of these realities and all of this, don't get caught up in it. The main thing that we should take from it is that it's all in your mind and it's up to you to make those changes to ascend or just to look at life from a different perspective to where you see everything as pure light, as unconditional uncond love and bliss. All these uh, labels that we give the dimensions, it's all a state of mind. I hope you guys are loving today, tomorrow, the past and the present. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. I love all of you. Peace, love, and light.